Island Brewing Company has been operating since 2017, and as the first craft brewery on Amelia Island, their brews, all named after historic women who have grown in popularity, including two that are being highlighted not just this month during Black History Month, but year-round. So joining us this morning to talk about this and the ways they're helping others feel safe even during a pandemic, of course, General General Manager Megan Giorgio and Marketing Director Heather Kish. Good morning, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Yeah, so it's so cool that you guys are having these beers in honor of these incredible women. So this month it's going to be, well, actually all year wrong, it's Nina Simone and Billie Holiday. Why did we choose these two women? Yes, ma'am. So as you said, all of our beers are named after um, fictional or historical influential women. Um, these women we really felt like, um, I will say we try to grab from different backgrounds, different time periods. Um, these women really stood out to us as far as making a change in their time period, if that makes any sense. Um, you know, they were both born between the 30s and the early 50s, um, and then their careers expanded that as well. So Nina Simone being a, a civil rights activist really spoke to us as well. Um, and then, of course, we all know Billie Holiday's um, famous song, Strange Fruits. Um, and we just kind of felt like they took a stand against things and they had a story to tell. Um, and that's really something that we believe we can do here. I mean, we're a brewery, um, but we have these stories that we want to tell and we want to share with people. And it's really special to us. You know, when people come in and they learn like, kind of the history behind the beers and understand each of them are after women, what do people say to you? They're absolutely shocked. They, they don't start putting it together until we actually... Um, begin to tell them. And I will say, I have a theater degree, so I feel like I found the perfect place um, to be able to kind of share those stories as well. But people are really surprised and they love to hear um, the little things and, and the reasons why that we name these beers after these women. All right, it's just so cool. And also, you know, of course, we're right now we're worrying about social distancing, but you guys have expanded and you have a huge space out there. We do, we do. We are so lucky to be able to do something like this. Um, especially with everything that's just happened. I will say the alley has been in part of the plan since the beginning. Um, so it's definitely been a solid three years coming. Um, and we're really, really fortunate. It's an open air space. Um, it is still covered, um, but we're still requiring masks indoors as people are taking their seats and, and we're still being very cautious. You know, we do employee checks every day, COVID questionnaires. We are habitual sanitizers of every single thing anyone touches. Um, so we're really fortunate. We feel like we're keeping our guests safe. Um, we're keeping our employees safe as well. Um, and it's, it's, really, it's really still a good time for us. And you know, something very cool that you guys are doing is you're not just celebrating these women during Black History Month, you're doing it year round. What, is that, what was that conversation like to make sure that you're honoring these women all the time? Absolutely. Yeah. I, that's just part of what our foundation has been since we started brewing beer. So it's really nice every time we brew a beer to find somebody to like match it up with. So we try to match a little bit of the characteristics of the beer with the characteristics of the woman that we're choosing. But uh, we love it. It's probably my favorite thing about what we do here. All right, both of you, what are your favorite beers on tap right now? Mine right now is a specialty beer over at the alley that we're serving. It's a Sarbi Mocha Porter with raspberry. Um, I feel like we really have something for everyone. Um, I'm a coffee addict, so it has that really nice Mocha Porter for me. Um, and then that little bit of the hint of raspberry also. And who's that named after? Uh, that one's named after Sarbi. It was actually an Australian Husky. Um, she was a bomb sniffing dog that um, was lost during war times and then was found 15 months later and returned to her American soldiers. How oh, cool. All right. What is your favorite beer before we have to go and who's it named after? Uh, the Sandy Summer Shandy and it's named after uh, Sandy D. Oh my Sandra. goodness. Sandra D. Who doesn't love a good Sandra D on a summer <laughs> afternoon? That is awesome. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for uh, joining us again. The Alley by AIBC. It is open in Amelia Island. Thanks, you guys. Have a great morning. Have a beer for me. Thank you. Thank you.